Simply said, there is never enough money. Sounds recognizable? I am aware that it can be challenging to advance toward your goals on a lesser income, much alone make ends meet, whether you are employed in a low-paying position or are fighting inflation. Leave flourishing out. Maybe all you're doing is attempting to get by. However, there are things you can do to feel more in charge of your finances, regardless of your income. I'll show you how to manage your money on a limited budget. I also have some advice on how to increase your savings and stretch your paycheck further. How to make a budget when your income is low. You can, and should, establish a strategy for your money even if you have a low salary. Working with what you have is the key. And a budget enables you to accomplish this by designating where your money will go each month. But when you don't make a lot of money, how precisely can you construct a budget? One step at a time, just like everyone else. Have your bank account accessed for quick access, you'll need it in a minute, before I get into the specifics. Grab a pen and paper to write out your budget as well. Ready now? Let's go for it. List your income in step 1. No matter how much money you make, all budgets begin with your income. Because if you don't know how much money is coming in, how can you possibly know how much you can spend each month? Make a list of all of your income sources to start. This covers wages from full-time jobs, part-time jobs, side jobs, stipends, social security, disability, child support, and pretty much any other source of monthly income. And if you get a commission or have inconsistent revenue, just start with your lowest monthly income, you can always go up from there. List your expenses in step 2. Planning for all of your monthly expenses comes next after you've determined your total monthly revenue. At this point, you'll consult your bank account to better understand your spending. First, take care of your four walls. Prior to creating a budget for the things you want, you must see to your essential needs. Start by creating a budget for what we refer to as the four walls, food, utilities, shelter, and transportation. Then, depending on what baby step you're on, set aside money for giving and saving. Note down the amount you require for rent or a mortgage, as well as the typical cost of monthly expenses like electricity and water. How much do you typically spend each month on food? How about gasoline? Don't stress about getting the budget numbers precise. Just approximate it as best you can. Next, budget for additional costs. After you've taken care of your four walls, make sure to factor in other regular expenses like childcare, insurance, and debt repayment. How much money do you spend on leisure? How many trips to Target do you typically make for home goods each month? Additionally, you'll undoubtedly require a miscellaneous category to account for unforeseen costs, because you know they will pop up. Do not worry about what you believe you ought to be spending in these categories at this time. You're now simply attempting to estimate how much money you generally spend each month, and we'll do some tweaking in a moment. Step 3. Deduct your outgoings from your inflows. There are many other budgeting techniques, but zero-based budgeting is the most effective. Your income should equal zero when your expenses are deducted. If you use every dollar, it will perform the calculations for you. This may give the impression that you're spending all of your income in a single month, but what it really means is that every dollar you earn should have a place in your budget, whether it's for charitable giving, debt repayment, saving, or shopping. Now, if your income has lately decreased, you can first receive a negative figure instead of zero. In that case, there is no shame. You are creating a budget in order to prevent overspending from occurring, and to avoid those overdraft fees. How to proceed if your income is insufficient to cover your expenses? When you created your zero-based budget, you discovered that you lacked the funds necessary to pay for all of your monthly costs. Take a big breath first. When you look at the figures, I understand how overwhelming it might feel. However, we are about to make some adjustments to assist remedy that. You have to be more deliberate with your spending and maybe make some sacrifices, especially if you have previously relied on debt to cover the gaps. The good news is that there are several strategies available to help you balance your spending and your budget so you can get back on track. Eliminate extras. First things first. Review your budget to identify any expenses you may reduce. Are all those streaming services really necessary? Do your nails really need to be done every week? These things are not evil, but if your budget forbids them, you must also refuse. Ignore the eateries. Paying for meals out is really expensive. Reduce your frequency of dining out to once per week, or if money is really tight, stop altogether. Cooking might not be as convenient as using the drive through but you'll save a ton of cash. We have meals at home, say it out loud after me. Buy used clothing instead. Listen, I enjoy shopping just as much as anyone else. However, you may definitely get by without buying any new clothes for a while until your child has outgrown their clothes or you need some new items because nothing in your wardrobe fits. 
sell your belongings. You may put more money back into your budget by getting rid of the clutter in your life. Simply go through your house and look for items you no longer use or adore. Outdated sporting goods? The mother and gift laws that's accumulating dust in the closet? Those additional fine china plates you have on hand in case the Queen of England decides to drop by for dinner? It's time to get rid of these things and sell your items online to get some extra money. Spend less money overall. What about the budget lines you can't eliminate entirely? Here are a few strategies for cutting costs on those important expenditures. Food. Try dinner preparation. I have a wonderful grocery savings guide and meal planner that will assist. Purchase generic goods. Shop at less expensive supermarkets. Utilize discount app. Utilities change the air filters. Dishwashers and washing machines should only be used when they are completely full. Elevate or lower the heat. Combine your errands to save money on gas. Sign up for gas rewards programs. Increase. Use a mobile app that notifies you of the best gas deals nearby, like GasBuddy. Eliminate your auto loan. Search elsewhere for better coverage. Increase your deductible, but only after setting up an emergency fund. Stop providing coverage that is not necessary. You can use this tool to determine the level of coverage you require. Combine your policies to receive a discount. Entertainment. Search for free events in your city or neighborhood. Use the library in your community. Try out one of these enjoyable activities that won't break the bank. Look for strategies to boost your revenue. You need to figure out how to increase your income if you've done everything you can to reduce your spending but are still struggling to get by. Here are some suggestions to get you going. Start a side hustle. There are many ways you may make some additional money on the side using your skills and free time, from delivering meals and driving for Uber to selling homemade jewelry and tutoring online. Work extra hours. Not interested in committing to a new side job? Check to see if you may add more shifts or hours to your current schedule. Even if it's not always, getting a bonus in your compensation is unquestionably worthwhile. Freelance. There are lots of options to work independently if you have skills in writing, design, bookkeeping, photography, or any other related field. You have the option of charging by the hour or by the task. The nicest aspect is that you get to choose how many projects you work on simultaneously. Request a raise. Do you feel that your income isn't commensurate with the work you put in at your job? Try requesting a raise. Before you barge into your leader's office and demand more money, you'll need to make some preparations. But it's worth bringing up the subject if you believe you deserve to earn more money than you do now. Change jobs. Are you stuck in a position with low income and little to no possibilities for advancement? If so, it's probably time to start looking for a new employment. Maybe all you need to do is look for a better business. You could also need to completely change your career. In either case, there are many occupations available that will allow you to increase your income while doing the type of work you enjoy, without having to return to school. What to do if your income is low? Establish a little emergency fund. Despite the fact that money may be limited, you still need a safety net. Nothing is more stressful than dealing with an expensive emergency while being broke. But if you're living paycheck to paycheck, having an emergency fund will prevent you from going over your spending limit when something unexpected happens. Decide to save $1,000 for your emergency fund as your first priority before concentrating on any other objectives. In this manner, you may be confident that you have enough money to pay for a new tire or an AC unit repair. Avoid taking on debt. If you don't have enough money to cover everything you need or want, you can feel tempted to borrow money. But I assure you that debt simply makes your issues worse. Considerably worse. Additionally, the payments you'll need to make will make your already tight budget much tighter. By making the decision right now that you won't use debt as a crutch, you can avoid a lot of pain in the future. You won't need to turn to debt to help you out if you have your emergency savings and are managing your current income wisely. Additionally, clearing your debt will help you free up even more money from your budget if you currently have debt. Set a new budget. Whether you have a low income or not, you can still manage your money by creating and adhering to a budget. And when your income does increase and your costs decrease, be sure to change your budget, and keep changing it month after month. Always keep in mind that every money should have a purpose, particularly during hard times. You won't believe how much peace and freedom a budget brings you, no matter how easy it may seem. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons after viewing. I'll see you in another video.